What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel everybody. We got some fun stuff for you today. Got a little bit of canola harvest going on. Yes, we do. Let's see if we can grab this thing. Yeah, boy. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Swing around. Ooh, can we even do it? Oh man, come on. There we go. So we have a long, long roundabout way to get up to where we are going. We're gonna have to go all the way around, all the way down, and all the way back up, just to get to where we wanna go. Now, actually, you know what? Hang on a second. When you destroy crops with the grass, it destroys it to the next to last state. So I wonder if I were to take, hmm. I got an idea. Let's start this over. Instead of going that way, I'm gonna go this way. And we're gonna go around through the farm, up through the cow pasture. And we're trying to get to fields nine and 10. I'll pull those up for you to see. But there's only two ways up there. I can't even see it from down here. There's only two ways to get up there. Through the cow pasture, and around the bend, all the way around. However, if we can do this without destroying any grass, which we are, yes. Okay, this is good, this is very, very good. Good, 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 good. Yes, good. Oh, the blinkers, no, sorry, gotta turn this on. So now, all we have to do is get this up here. Now, the interesting part is still gonna be getting the header in there. Regardless of which way we go, we still have to get past this point. And this is a sucky, sucky thing. All right, let's see if we can do this. Let's open it up. Uh, do we need to get another tractor in here to make this happen without destroying much crop? I think that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. So let's drop this off here. And then this, we will line it up and back it up. I promise, this will work. All we need to do is get the header in front of the harvester and we can move everything else out of the way. That's it, that's all we gotta do because I know this header will not fit through there. All right, so now we've got here. I'm okay destroying a little bit of crop. I just don't wanna destroy a lot of it. All right, try and destroy none. Ooh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to run over some of it. There's no way around this. Okay, baby steps, baby steps. Come on, here we go. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. And then all this right here, right in front of it. Destroy as little as possible. Come on, grab the Activa. through connect to the header and we should be good and we are in yes hop out of there grab this and just pull it off to the side this doesn't even matter there we go off to the side and we are off to oh no 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 Can, can we not fix this? We'll have to bump through just to get to my harvester. Come on, man. Now, we can do this again. <sighs> Let's rock it, baby.
we've got everything done up top field nine field ten it's all finished what we're doing is we're getting everything moved back down now we're going to be relocating to field 13. in order to do that we're gonna to have to do a little bit of roundabout driving we come through the main farm back the way we came and then out the side of here so what we're gonna do is slowly one by one we're gonna go ahead and start moving vehicles over there uh, we will be using a worker on field 13. I have not been using a worker on these fields up here. Reason being, they were too small. There's no point. They're not straight. <laughs> Good luck using a worker on those fields. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Brander Power Push doing it to it. Gotta love this thing. Man, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Excuse me. Still got a little bit of a cough. Nothing I can do about that. But we got one more field. One more field, field 13. And then our harvest for this year is done. Simply all we have to do is wait until it's time to sell. And I've noticed something very, very interesting with the sales figures. I want to go over those with you guys. Look at this. It said we were going to get high prices. Yet we've gone down, 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 down. Every single day, the notch goes down. Starting from spring one, we're in fall one now. This was high yesterday, and now it's down again. Fortunately for me, I know that around winter one, winter two, is when I can sell these things. That's when I know. So I'm going to be waiting. Same with barley, canola, sunflowers. Sunflowers are a little weird. Soybeans are kind of odd as well. Corn still showing that so it's not just it's not just these crops up here but they are the most noticeable it's very very interesting so let's keep moving we're gonna get everything moved over to the other field one more to go and this one's gonna take us a while but I promise it's not gonna be that bad i promise i promise i promise and then we're gonna get over here we gotta start doing more fertilizing. We gotta get some more fertilization thrown down on our grass fields. And we've got to get fertilization down on the other fields. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on those. I don't know how far we're gonna get, but I wanna get as far as we can get. Here we go, rolling into this field now. Let's see, can we get it? Oh, we could have, it's just not gonna look very good. Pulling it in, got it. Hop out, let's grab this. Pull it out of the way. There we go. Now, we get to harvesting. What? I don't need to do that. What are you talking about? Drop it down. Here we go. One last field. One more. Hoorah! And then we have everything. Literally everything done. Till planning it. Let's get to it, babe. just hired a worker which means we got a little time for ourselves what that really doesn't mean is that we have any time for ourselves so we're gonna hop out of here change our wheels up customize engine good wide wheel weights no standard no narrows yes gotcha now where is there it is Let's see if we can do this all in one fell swoop swoop there we go. Yeah. To the fertilizer. Got it. Um, I don't know how much we're gonna need, but I wanna fill it up as little as possible. So yeah, we're just gonna leave in it what's in it. Let's get this over here. And 
right about here and go for it. Yes. Hopefully I'll be able to still see where we are fertilizing and where we have mowed and everything. I think I've got a pretty good idea. You could probably see it better than I do. I have the contrast turned way up on the stream itself. But as far as me on my screen, I can't really see it too well. So hopefully I can see it well enough to make this happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Hang on, let's stop this real quick. Um, I think, yeah, I'm going to have to un undo this guy in a second. Ooh, let's get that out of our way. Gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. Uh, let's set the cruise down at six. There we go. We are going to have to unload this guy. Got him set. He's going to have to come all the way across. We are going to get a bunch of canola off of this field. And that's good. I don't know if we're going to be able to pay off our loan this first year or not. I did mention that I was going to wait until we could pay off our loan before we got the, uh, <clears throat> the gold. <coughs> the gold. Uh, yeah, I, I do plan on doing it. However, ooh, we're sliding. Look how much we are sliding right now. Goodness gracious. All right, come on. Come on. We can do this. Set him on. Go on, little doggy. Move it on. Move it on now. There we go. But I think because I could get the gold now and pay off the loan and be fine. Where's the fun in that? We're in this for the long haul, baby. I really, really, really want to take advantage of it and do it the right way. And then whenever we get the loan paid off, then it's all it's all profit from there anyway. So might as well go ahead and get the loan or get the gold. I don't know how long this is going to take, but hey, we're still rocking and rolling. There we go. Oh, that was it. Oh, OK. And we're off <laughs> back to where we were. We have finished with the grass fields and we are throwing down a layer of solid fertilizer onto the fields before we do any planting. We get a little extra fertilization state going on with these things. The only thing that I worry about is we are not using manure or slurry on these fields. And I think we should be. I just, we shouldn't just be throwing down fertilizer, but we can't help it. <laughs> there is no other way not right now at least uh, possibly well I say possibly year two year two no 100% um, <coughs> at least by year three I want to be totally 100% independent from uh, this type of fertilizer with the exception of putting it in the ground now if the planter if we've got a new planter by then by year three and it does not fertilize, then that is okay. I am 100% down with that. Um, but I want to be able to put down manure and then plow it under and then slurry it and then cultivate it and then put down the seed and then spray it. Well, I said spray it. Yeah. <clears throat> shut up. I want to do it the right way. People don't just do this with a... Shut up. Go away. Go over there and sit down. <laughs> I'm kidding, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I want to be able to use manure and slurry as much as possible when applicable. And on grass fields and on fields that have not been prepared yet, that is the best time. But, hey, we're still rocking. We're still moving. We are still grooving. That's right, baby. We're still moving and grooving. We're moving and grooving. Uh, speaking of moving and grooving, how is our helper over there? Looks like they're doing okay. We have had to empty them once already, but I think, I think he's okay. He's gonna be able to do one more pass. We should be able to finish this field in the time that's gonna take. And then all we have to do is hit field 34 and hit field uh, 13. And we've got our first fertilization state already down. Gotta love it, gotta love it. We're almost done. 
Almost. Oh no. I let it go too far. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes. That is it. That is absolutely it. Almost. Also, uh, paid back some loan. Uh, paid back $40,000. So if we can need to borrow it, we can. But I don't want to. So let's go through fertilized, not fertilized, cultivated, growing, harvested. That's what I want to see. Anything? Nope. This field is done. Yes. Absolutely done. Completely finished. Harvest is over, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. One thing we do need to do, we still need to put fertilizer on this field and we're gonna have to pay for it and we're gonna have to go in the hole again. One thing I refuse to do, I refuse to take out another loan. I'm just not gonna do it. So, sorry. Let's get this put away. Let's see how much we got. All right, just a few steps. Let's get this put away. This is gonna be a little difficult to do because I did this with a tractor the last time. And this time I don't have the tractor. I just have me. So I'm gonna try and get this back in about as far back as we can get. Yep, that's as far back as we can get. And then try and back this in. Just like that, there we go. Yeah, okay. We are done. We are done with harvest. We can go here and we can shut the door. Goodbye, goodbye. Now let's go get, I uh, believe, yeah, here it is. Had to bop around for a few minutes. Let's take this down. Let's see how much we're going to get. Now, all of our barley is still at the pig farm. So if we wanted to go get it now, we could not. We would have to go to the pig farm. Let's go out up here. There we go. So, what are we going to get? I hope we get over 100,000. That way we have the possibility of getting about 200 grand. That, coupled with the barley, might just break us even with our loan. And that would be all right. Dump this out. No more capacity for canola. Oh, is it a hundred thousand liter capacity, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we have hit one hundred thousand liters. All right, looks like this is going over to the pig farm. Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, there it is. 95,000 liters of barley, 100,000 liters of canola. We hit that magic number. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So let's jump in first person. Blinkers are flashing. We're going out on the road now. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if you guys don't know how to get to the pig farm, pig farm is about halfway up in the middle. So... We'll see you there. Here we go. All right. Almost here. Let's go and get our turn signal on. And nice and easy. Oak Garden Farm. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I got to remember where this is, but I can't always remember. I think it's up here. Yep. There it is right there. Golf cart jockey left it open for us. Let's pop that. And let's back right up to it. There we go. There is our entire canola harvest done. Take a look. 110,000 liters. We're 110,883. Plus 95,297 liters of barley. That's good. And... There's our sell point for our bells right there. Very, very cool. If you guys haven't checked this map out, or not this map, but this farm in general, uh, let's go and turn that off. This farm is really, really cool. It's all the pigs. So you got your water, your food. This is where you buy them right here. No clothes. 
quit trying to do that. That's where you throw in your straw. You got uh, seed over here, fertilizer. It's all good. To say seed, that's just fertilizer. Water's over here. All really, really cool stuff. I dig this map. Oh man, do I dig this map. So, we've got that done. Let's take a look. Yeah, nobody should be coming that way. This is where we have to worry. Uh, can't really see. I'm just going to go for it. There we go. We're all right. We are okay. Time to get back to the main farm. We're going to get this put away. We need to get our fertilizer. We're going to probably take our liquid fertilizer up to field 13. Solid fertilizer is completely empty right now. And I don't know how much fertilizer we would need. So rather than loading it up with fertilizer we don't need, I'm going to see how much liquid fertilizer we have left. And then we're just going to go from there and just see what we can do. Here's the dealio here. We only have 430 liters of fertilizer in here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to stretch this out and make it work for as much as we can. And then as soon as it's up, I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to hire a worker or something like that. Yeah, see, look how much we're using. We're we're almost what? That's eighty thou or eighty liters that we've used already. We're gonna use this up fairly quickly. There's no way we're getting halfway around this field. Absolutely not. So what I'm thinking is that when we get this done, we'll head over and we'll grab the solid fertilizer, and we'll kind of just let it run up and down. And then whatever we need after that, we'll kind of go and we'll try and fill it up as best we can. But I think for now, this is going to be okay. We just need to get stuff on the ground so it's all working. It's all good. We don't have to worry. It's, it's taken care of. It's the biggest thing right now is getting this, this first fertilization state down before we sow. We will be sowing again. I don't know if we're going to be sowing the exact same crops into the same areas. We may do uh, wheat or barley in this field. We may do canola or soybeans in other fields. We may do one large um, one large cell of wheat. I don't know. Um, if we do a large cell like that, a large single cell, it would be best to contact the Goham Co. and see if they have any operations over here uh, in Oak Field. We shall see. I'm not quite sure. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how that's going to happen. Regardless, we are about to run out of fertilizer right now. And it is going down quickly. 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bam. Done. All right. Fold it up. Let's go get the solid. And let's make this happen. And here it is, just as it were. Now, again, like I said, very, very simple, very, very easy right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is to make this work for me in the long run, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna square this field off as best I can. I'm gonna try and do it in a way that tricks the computer worker guy into thinking we have a square field. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to hit this top headland up here. We're just going to let him go straight across and then come back. We will go into debt again, I assure you. And we are 50 away, 40 away, 30 away, 20 away, 10. Debt. Yes. <laughs> Not really where I wanted to be, but this will... In oh, excuse me. <laughs> this will ensure that we get complete coverage of the entire field. So what we're gonna do, hopefully, this gets all the way to the edge. Come on, come on, you can do it. Let's go. Come on, don't, don't be doing this to me now. You can make this happen. All right, here we go. Getting close, getting close. There's a whole lot more field up there than I thought there was. 
Let's see how far this takes it out. Okay, that's as far as he's gonna take it. That is fine with me. So I'm gonna now hit this way. I'm gonna square it off. Oop, fire worker. Set them right there. They should get us close, about right there. Oh, are they gonna keep going? They are gonna keep going. Very good, very good. Yes, this is what I wanted. We're getting almost all the way out to the edge, at least out to the edge of where the crop is going to be. We are missing just a little bit, but I'm okay missing that little bit. I'm not concerned, I don't really care. It's, it's out towards the edge, we're fine, we'll be okay. All right, well, I guess there's no collisions on that hedge. And now this is the fun part because we can go through here and we can kind of hit it. Now this is only if it actually works. Let's get it lined up just right. Yeah, so. Is it hitting? Yeah, okay, so it is hitting it kind of the way I wanted it to. And a little bit of money every now and then going down. That's all right. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. I'm not doing anything. I wish I could hold the controller up right now and show you guys I am not touching the controller right now. That is hilarious. And we'll get it by here. Hire worker. And they'll go across for us. Simple as that. Again, like I said, this just ensures that we're not buying any extra fertilizer that we're not going to be needing or not going to be using. This way, we buy just enough to put down on the field, and then when we go fill up our cedar or planter, we'll fill that up all the way to the top. And we use as much as we can until we get down to the bottom, and then hopefully we'll be in a good position then where we can hire a worker as well. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but we do pretty well. Can we get all the way to the edge? No, nope, it's not going to let us do it, unfortunately. Can we hire a worker here? Yeah, there we go. Hey, we got it, we got it, we got it. And then we'll get up to about right here. Same thing. Nope. Our worker. Nope. It's putting it down. It's just not wanting to work quite right. You can see it's like hiring the worker and then firing the worker. But it's fertilizing it, so I'm okay with that. Let's get up about here, maybe. Nope. Come on, there we go. Okay. Some weird collisions with trees and stuff like that has a lot to do with the craziness that you just saw. It's wild, it's wacky, it's insane. It is what it is. So, I'm going to continue to do this wild, wacky, crazy, is what it is kind of thing see you guys when we finish this field and we are done yes yes we are we have got everything finished that we need to accomplish today we've gotten everything harvested we've gotten everything fertilized first fertilization state is down on every single field that we own and after paying back forty thousand dollars of our loan we're back in the hole about four grand it's okay, it's fine. Fortunately for this, it doesn't really matter that we're in the hole. It's fine, it's perfectly okay. <sighs> I'm okay with this. Why am I bringing this down here? Anyway guys, that, <laughs> gosh. That is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you know already, please subscribe. If you guys will see more like this, let me know down in the comments section. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.